What's up everyone, how's it going? This is Wodge, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Phantom 4 Advance. Now we're going to be kind of breaking up the entire Phantom 4 lineup, because currently right now you have the regular Phantom 4, the Advance as you see over here, and the higher end Phantom 4 Pro that we looked at a couple of weeks ago. Now the key thing with the Advance, it actually shares a lot of features with the Pro Drone. Firstly, they both have the same camera and lens configuration, so with the camera it has a 20 megapixel 1 inch CMOS chip, which is a pretty big difference compared to the original Phantom 4's camera which was around 12.4 megapixels and it was about uh, half the sensor size so the low light performance is going to be better it has a extended ISO range with the new camera the field of view and distortion is also a little bit more optimized and you can record 4k video at up to 60 frames per second another benefit is that the advance comes with the same battery as the pro so the larger 5870 milliamp hour battery which is going to give you any anywhere between two to four more minutes of flight time. I believe the original Phantom 4 battery was a rated for about 53, 50 milliamp hours. So that's definitely an ISO plus. Now, as far as the difference between the Pro and the Advance drone goes, the really key major distinction is the fact that the Pro drone has five direction obstacle avoidance sensing technology built in. So the drone can sense hazards both in forward, backwards, a lateral and downwards position, which certainly makes it more comprehensive in assessing different hazards in the environment compared to the advanced which is primarily looking at the stereoscopic view at the front of the drone and at the uh, downwards position of the drone as well so very similar to the original Phantom 4. Now, as far as pricing goes, uh, currently right now on the DJI website, you can get the Phantom 4 Pro for around $1,199, the uh, Advance for $1,349, and the uh, Pro uh, for $1,499. So you can see that the pricing breakdown isn't significant from drone to drone, uh, but uh, generally speaking, essentially the key differences with the Advance and the uh, Pro is you get the, the better optics, the better camera, and the slightly better battery life performance. Uh, that being said, the Phantom 4 is still an awesome, awesome drone, especially for beginners. Uh, the video quality and overall flyability and ease of use is extremely accessible to pretty much everybody out there. So I still highly recommend it for anybody that's on um, a little bit of a budget, doesn't want to go crazy uh, with their first drone, but still wants to get something really special. But that being said, the Advance is a good little sweet spot for getting all the features, and especially if you don't really care for some of the more advanced obstacles avoidance sensing technology in the real world if you're going to be smart about flying your drone it's definitely not 100 necessary but that being said the pro is certainly uh, one of the most uh, advanced drones out in the consumer market so definitely check it out if you want uh, the best of the best but besides that, guys, that's really it. This was just a quick breakdown of the current Phantom 4 lineup of uh, drones out there. Eventually, I'm sure the uh, Phantom 4 Pro and the Advance will be kind of the main drones, uh, and uh, they'll probably discontinue the Phantom 4 later on in the future. Uh, but uh, give, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, helped you out in any way, and we'll see you really soon in the next video.